Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS and the Dave Reynolds Nooner. Do you know where your wife is? Well, this has got to be really scary. Some crazy-ass dude broke into L.A. Inc. star Kat Von D's on the market home late Saturday night. Uh, she and her three-year-old son slept there. Police found the guy wandering around the home who told them he was buying it and needed to use the restroom. The man who hopped the fence to gain access to the grounds was booked for burglary. Von D's home is rather famous after being featured in the 2003 movie Cheaper by the Dozen. The 12,000 square foot property, which includes a blood red swimming pool, was recently listed for $15 million. Well, Monday is Valentine's Day. Flowers die. Instead, I got my lady something that won't go away, even if you want it to. Boris Johnson. Only 4% of women think flowers are the best present for Valentine's Day. That number jumps to 100% if they're delivered by a shirtless gosling. There's a pub in Britain that is home to 15 cats, all of which were born inside the building. So great, news for everybody who enjoys simultaneously being drunk and completely ignored. And a new survey says that 60% of us pee in the shower. Not me, I'm terrible at multitasking. Here's Frank D'Angelo on the Dave Reynolds Nooner on NSS. Oh 
inside the mirror, I know that there's nothing really left to fear. Cause I'm the one that's gotta deal with me. Me and he, that's one person. Cause I'm the guy when I go to bed and I wake up. I know that in the morning, I gotta pull all my strength and deal with the world. Because it's me against me and it's me against the world. And if you have one thing in your life while you walk this planet for this brief time, I don't need a man yet. Hey. What the f are you doing? Do you want to get killed? Stop doing that, you dumb f You guys are FBI. Um.
Well, this is kind of tragic. The ye old Fighting Cocks pub in St. Albans, England has seen it all. Since its first brick was laid, possibly as early as 793, near the ruins of an ancient Roman city, well before the United Kingdom was even formed. The drinking house has survived civil wars and world wars, famine, and the spread of the bubonic plague. But hardships brought on by the coronavirus pandemic mean the pub, which Guinness World Records has reportedly called England's oldest, though others contest that title, is shutting down. And that's sad. President Biden is warning Americans still in Ukraine to leave the country in case Russia invades. This goes also for globetrotting TikTok influencers. You should get out of there before, you know, TikTok boom. Massachusetts has been named the best state to raise a family. It must also be the state with the worst internet access. A survey finds 85% of Americans agree that the media is fundamental to democracy. The other 15% think TikTok is. Valentine's Day is just under a week away. Thankfully, I made those paintball reservations for me and my lady months ago. And a new procedure has found a way to turn belly fat into material which can repair spinal cord damage. Hey, hey, that's not a beer belly. It's my spinal cord injury protection package. <laughs> Here's Frank D'Angelo on the Dave Reynolds Nooner on NSS. <laughs>
sorry, I gotta take this. Hello, honey. Pierre, where are you? I'm in a strip club. <laughs> Seriously, where are you? Yes, I'm in a strip club. What are you doing? I'm working. Okay. I love you. I love you too. I'll be home soon. You never lie, do you? No, I don't. Well, yesterday morning, Tracy Ellis Ross and Leslie Jordan announced the nominees for the 94th Annual Academy Awards. The Power of the Dog earned 12 nominations, including for real-life couple Kirsten Dunst and Jesse Piemans, who play the husband and wife team in the drama Dune, the sci-fi epic starring Timothée Chalamet, 
earned 10 nods, while Belfast and West Side Story both got seven. As a producer of West Side Story, Steven Spielberg has set a new record, having now produced 11 films nominated for Best Picture. The Oscars will air live on ABC March 27. Happy birthday to Facebook, which turned 18 this week. Just like all other birthdays, it took Facebook to remind me. According to a new report, people who regularly act on their impulses have a direct link to a lack of empathy and a heightened level of selfishness. study was conducted by spending just simply 10 minutes with Kanye West. The U.S. military once made a robot that could stand in the crane position like Ralph Macchio in The Karate Kid. Unfortunately, the robot became useless because Mr. Miyagi was unavailable to keep telling the robot to focus. And Spirit and Frontier Airlines have announced a $6.6 billion merger, thus combining Spirit's renowned late arrivals and horrific customer service with Frontier's famously surly flight attendants and legendary bag-losing prowess. Here's Frank D'Angelo on the Dave Reynolds Nooner on NSS. Tell you in that car 
me, please tell me How to get over this I just can't help it Your love I miss Why is it that things Always come to an end No matter how hard I try It just won't mend What do I say Every single day To make sure You're gonna stay You're gonna stay I can't believe We're finally through My whole life Has been about you Just one I have to say It was a great run Emptiness whoa, Fills my soul Now in my life I need to know my role Stop all the way that you feel There's no way this can be real What do I say every single day To make sure you're gonna stay You're gonna stay, you're gonna stay A single day to make sure you're gonna stay, you're gonna stay, you're gonna stay. Just one.